happy and it didn't disappoint me. It was a long voyage to this cesspit, but it's about to make sense. What? killer, live and in person. How are you? Mm, these guys healthy? are gonna be trouble. I, complain. I am delighted, really. But you see, it's a long way back to Vasima, and I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Bon voyage. Listen, Jester. You're worth more to me alive, but if need be, I will Just take you try back it. as a corpse. You choose. All right. Give it a shot. Drop your sword and put your hands together, or I'll not vouch for what... Shut up. Go ahead. Try to kill me. Just try it. One. One. Where's the guards when you need them? He's worth a bundle. Don't fuck this up. Come at me, bro. No need to fear those witches' tricks. I've got a total star. Bitch. Okay, so, I'm back. Made my way around the town a little bit. Rope ladder. Sweet. Made my way around the town a little bit, and as you can see, I took the diagram that I found and made myself another silver sword. Also, I was able to craft the Sword of Cainegarn. So, yeah. Cool. Now, I think I'm going to be on the way to the pub. To see Dandeli <laughs> Dandelion and the dwarf. Greetings. <laughs> I also learned Damn, how to roll dice. Close. In keep, vodka. Vodka. Chris Marigold. Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Lice eat me. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month Zoltan. ago for Zoltan's wedding. Blood got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltest died. And the dragon, was there really one there? Yep. And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbolt and Count Merivale, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the Lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court in ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. I wish there was a way I could take the hood down. In spite of several Random duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Where were the mages? Hi. Where were the grey eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited. Neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stand to marry if he's crowned. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Metallus remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. 
Hmm. During the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalet Lands, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, well, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds significant stake. That's enough. I think I've heard enough about politics. How many sorceresses are there? The dragon. Well, the dragon appeared, and that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a bar, they say. The dragon Bigger. Don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltest might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. No wedding, Zoltan. Ha! <laughs> the Vregan rigs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. My would be Papa Law refused to let a rebel firebrand it's join just the family. Awesome mohawk. And keep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bob Sultan, an absolutely grand doublet, a pair of Garibaldi Krakows, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. Yeah, that's a big jade stone. By the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Hit. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have found a pin drop. Old Breckenridge rose and he says, A real dwarf works a mine, not chases fame on the battlefield. I've heard You'll it both ways. This, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Breckenridge says. Then proceeded to slop two full bowls of the shite. Oh, goat. Well, his mind keeps in on his head. Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey, nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. I really can't get over his name. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> that wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania, now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as, as long I don't as you're less Ever annoying than the bards in Skyrim, I will like Even you. Be, get out. You play the spy a bit, get bored and drop it. You know how he is. Lorido said you're working with the Scoyatons. <clears throat> I have done many things in my life, get out. But I have never stooped to banditry. The Scoyatel don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Scoyatel. I'm gonna use that word in everyday life. Banditry. Foltest Killer lay in wait in the tower where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat for yeah, the He did. He's also huge! Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Scoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! The beast? We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. What's going on, Geralt? It's a long bridge. Come on, nearly got him! What was that? That was a tentacle. That is a tentacle. 
That is a big tentacle. With a mage. Hello, mage. What sort of Where's this beast? Ask her. Well, that's a nice hat. Geralt. <laughs> ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say. Flock together. I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. Sozek's alive, and nowhere near the depths. The monster's vanished without a trace. You best take us seriously, lest you vanish without a trace. You best take me seriously. Right. All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Karen. I used Kairin. to date a girl named Karen. A monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, Why is he eh? just laying there? Summoned by the witch, perchance. To see it in all its splendor. Sozek doesn't look too good. Lay him inside somewhere. These are not the right, droids you're looking for. Right, enough already. Come on, lads. Let's go. What's this? I was ready for a rumble there. Shut it, and come on! Just obi wan you. I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? Apparently we are. I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't... De Tanserville? Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kairan was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Marigold, sharp as ever. Apparently you You're ladies know each other. Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood. All those disgusting marvels we take from dying species to throw into the cauldron at sap. Virgins right, are a dying Absolutely. species. Virgins True are a dying breed. That. Oh my, your sense of humor seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt, you saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Kairan emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around. Find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. And such. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward. Pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there. On the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. I was on my way there all already. Let's see which one. Um, I'll do that. 
do that in a minute. What is this one? Yeah, sure. Whatever. You free? Peace out. Where do I have to go? Looks like I'm going this way. I also picked up quite a few quests. Quests? Quests while I was running around town. What do you want? Heard you have a problem. Ah, if only we had just one. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. Can't help with the tolls, but the monster's a possibility. A sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage a loan. You can split that reward if you wish. A contract like that requires preparations. Costly preparations. Sure You does. want an advance? I've but a handful of orange now. Though it should buy you plenty of drink and a few hours of plowing. I, was I am on the way to the whorehouse. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the Witcher, damn it! I've no knowledge of these things. Who could tell me more? That plowing elf, Cedric, most probably. He's supposed to know all about monsters. Where Those are some him? awesome glasses. In the glasses. village outside the walls. Dang. Now leave me be. <laughs> uh. You might want to stir it. I don't step. I work the material. Let's see. Guess I'll go talk to Cedric. This town is pretty big. Yes, it is. I think I picked up a quest for this guy. Welcome to my modest shop. I need one of your incense formulae. I've got more than 200 here. I'm interested in the best seller. Someone's offering a handsome price for that formula. They say it's harmful. Impossible. I haven't had a single complaint. And I'll not give the formula to anyone. How about this? I give you a formula for a similar scent. You get your reward, and I keep my secret. Hmm. Why not? Agreed. Wait a second. There you go. I'll be going. Everything in order? Oh, Cedric. Oh, I'm gonna take all your stuff. Watch it, Witcher. Your shit. Flotsam's got a garrison. We don't need a witcher. Welcome.
guess I'm in the wrong place. Yep. <laughs> 